And here we are, it's the last day of summer, week? summer food week. We did, uh, we did the lemonade, which you have to make. Yeah. Serve it with bourbon oh. or vodka or whatever. We did the, uh, that, uh, that uh, chili marinated chicken sandwich that was a 10. We made it and then uh, our large friend over here went home and made it that night. I did. Right? Yeah. And now we're making um, uh, succotash. So think vegetables. You can serve it any time of the year and this can be served hot or cold. I think it's a really ideal accompaniment to like, a, like steaks or chops or chicken or, or whatever. And you determine how you want to cook it. Uh, so we started with some uh, onion in the pan. And I'm going to make it in the cast iron pan because this is how I would serve it. The cast iron pans are absolutely table appropriate, especially in the summer. Even if it's cold, I'd put it back into this. So all I've done is I've softened about a half an onion. Everybody good? Good. Good. Okay. So now the rest of the ingredients almost don't matter. The order that they go in like, wouldn't make a huge difference. I'll put them in in the order that I think they should go, but... If you don't do this, don't worry about it. So we're starting with these. Max, tell me what these oh, looks piece like. Of frozen pea. Oh, edamame. Nope. Frozen peas. Lime nope. beans. I was asking Max. Oh my bad. I was hoping he would go through a few more. <laughs> I was not going to get lima beans. So I was. I haven't had lima beans since I was like, I don't know, ten. Yeah. They just kind of fall out of favor. And he answered when they were on the ground before they were here. Don't forget his view right here. The bag says lima beans. I did, whatever. So let's Cheater. not, we won't assume that he got that. I'm not either. sure. So, but here's what I want to do. I'm going to take about half a bag. It'll be about 10 ounces. What is this? 20 ounces. About half the bag. Put them in here. Not that brown gross one. And just give them a quick rinse. Just to start them just to start them thawing a little bit, okay? Then let them just do their thing for a sec. Let them just drain a little bit right there. Okay, lima beans, done. Is succotash a southern thing? Yeah, 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 it's very southern. And in fact, it's a, it draws to Indian roots. Oh. The only downside to cast iron pans is the handles Definitely heat up. I need garlic, I need red pepper. And Would it just be sacrilege to have a rubber handle on a cast iron pan? I, I don't know. I that mean, you, you throw it in the that. oven, it probably wouldn't work as well then. Yeah, well, you certainly wouldn't put it in the oven then. So, red pepper. And then, of course, we cut out the membrane. We don't need that. We hate the membrane. I don't think the membrane hates itself, but. But everybody else does. So let's you see. always used to say maybe the membrane hates him. Maybe the membrane does. That was your line. So a little like a, like a like a rough little chop here. Nothing too pretty or precise. If you had to describe succotash in like one sentence, what would it be? Uh, I don't know. It's almost like a ratatouille, you know? Really? It's just a mixed vegetable dish. How do I do this now with a hot pan? We just go like this. You know, the general rule is the heartier vegetables will go in first to give them a chance to, to soften. Lima beans. I, I'm just loving all of this right now. A couple more things to add. Certainly some garlic. So we'll throw a big, huge fat clove of garlic in here. This big giant guy. Try and get him shed of his skin. And then We'll garlic press him in. That thing is so big it needed to be cut in half to be pressed. You're not kidding, boy. That's a look at 
That's a lot of garlic. It's a lot of garlic. It's also a good garlic press. We all know that. Uh, I started the pan with um, butter and olive oil and with the onions. Uh, it's a nice little combination. I really Man, like it. It smells good. I gotta just get something out of here. Sorry. Uh, some canned corn. You could use fresh. Of course you could use fresh. And because it's summer, you're going to have fresh around a lot, but certainly just a really easy way to do this. I don't want this liquid. Oh, I got a strainer right here. So while that's straining, I'll take a, a, a zucchini and prep it. this and you know what it's a lot of veggie prep I'm scared of these things I've sliced I have peeled my skin off with those <laughs> I swear to God I mean they're super sharp and dangerous and I'm scared of them I, I give them the respect that they deserve you know what I did here let me show you really quickly how it happened I was doing it like this yeah and this finger was like that oh. and I went oh. oh god brutal no that's not a good thing no it's not I never said it was so let's see. Yeah, but that guy was, that side was a little bit thick, so this guy will be okay. I've never had succotash. Have you, Lynn? No. This, all I do is, I, I think of uh, that guy in Looney Tunes. Really? Suffering succotash. Yeah. Uh, uh, what was his name? Uh, Yosemite Sam. Yosemite Sam. So now, of course, the second the 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 zucchini, zucchini cooks really quick. It doesn't need a whole lot. While well, the smell here is super delicious. So at this point, now that we've done that, oh, why did this guy not cut? This I keep stirring this guy around in the pan, and he's pissing me off. Am I missing anything? Oh yes, my corn. And this has got to say summer to you, right? Oh yeah. I mean, apart from the corn coming out of a can, everything could be super fresh. Nice. We've not seasoned yet. We're going to give it a little seasoning. Right here, so it's going to get a decent amount of salt because it needs it. A bunch of black pepper, and I'm going to throw in uh, a little bit of cayenne. Not a lot, but just a little bit because you know what I think. I always think a little bit of heat is a good thing. All right, this now needs about 10 minutes. That's it. When we come back, this thing's going to be ready. Show you how to finish it off. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be fantastic. So, oh, lima beans. Mm. They totally roll. All right. Hey, I have a simple request. When you're done watching this, not now, when you're done, call a friend, tell them you just watched this, you liked it, they should watch. Turn people on to us. That way we can do more, better, bigger things for you. Promise. More people watch, you get more better shit at home. You get more better stuff at home. Promise. See ya. All right, so almost ready. I have some basil here, fresh basil, that we're going to chiffonade. We're just gonna cut up. We're just gonna do this. Once again, celebrating the flavors of summer. Here we go. So that goes there to protect my board. We put the succotash. I can't believe there's no tomatoes or 
Why does there have to be? There can be. Look, Succotash know. does have tomatoes. Oh, it does? Yeah, all right, well, some do, not all of them. It smells like, wow. It smells great. Oh, I love it. I think sometimes it's nice to have a change of not the... Oh, the basil. See, what's cool about the basil or any herb, at this point when you throw it in and it hits this hot stuff, that's really, a, the flavor really comes out. Man, the heat coming off this thing. That's right. So, of course, some corn, some zucchini, some lime Watch and beans. Looking. Mm. Oh, the bagel. Mm. It's tremendous hot. That little bit of heat from the cayenne is really, really good. Tremendous hot, be fantastic cold, will be tremendous room temperature. The key is just to make it. It's different. I mean, think of it like a vegetable salad, like you would make a corn salad or stuff like that. But it's got a little bit more to it, and it's kind of interesting, and it's different. You don't hear succotash all the time unless you're from the south or whatever, holy shit is that good. And how, how often are you having frickin' lima beans? I mean, I don't know, maybe in your house a lot. I had them growing up, but I don't eat them that much. And this reminds me I need to. All right. So good, make it exactly as is. Next uh, week is um, fruit and vegetable, interesting fruit and vegetable week. Yes. And we're starting Monday with um, the, uh, figs. Nice. Oh, really easy, super delicious little fig thing that you'll flip over. All right. Have a great weekend. Don't eat shitty food. Uh, see you. Thanks for hanging out.